Everybody wants to make money whilst doing nothing, right? We call this passive income. But how realistic is it to actually own a website business and have it be completely passive, right? Hi, I'm Jared Krause from buyingonlinebusinesses.com and how realistic is it to own a website business and just to sit at the beach all day, drink some vases, watch the sunset, have great dinner, watch a movie, and then wake up, rinse and repeat and do that again and do absolutely no work. Well, the reality is that there are some websites that are completely passive and then there are some that aren't, right? But how can we make them completely passive if we do buy these websites? And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. You see, I bought many website businesses for myself and my clients have bought many website businesses and we've all had a long relationship with semi-passive income and fully passive income websites. So I also teach people how to make their business fully passive so they can work less and earn more. For the best advice on how to buy an online business that's past that 90% failure rate that all startups face and has a proven track record of making money every single month, go away and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated when I upload new videos about this every single week. So we've got two types of passive income. We've got semi-passive income and we've got fully passive income. First, I wanna talk about what semi-passive income is. Now, semi-passive income is what most website businesses will be when you purchase them. A semi-passive income website is what it says, yes, semi. Half of it's passive, half of it's not. So what does that actually mean? Well, when you buy a content website, maybe you do have it running and it's making money and, and you're doing absolutely nothing. But to keep it growing, you still need to do some work. You still need to produce some content. You still need to post some website articles here and there. You still need to maybe do some SEO and still do some strategic things to grow the business. Now, when people sell these websites, they may have teams that are running this business for them and doing those updates and the SEO and these growth strategy for them. A lot of people that sell these websites do remove the team and remove those expenses so they can sell the businesses for a higher multiple. And that's what creates this business to be semi-passive where if you purchase it, you still need to have maybe five to 10 hours a week that you can put into the business to grow it and run it and to ensure that it, it keeps growing over time. If you were to have this be fully passive, which you can, what will happen over time is the business will start to degrade and become expired and irrelevant compared to other businesses out there that are competing for those spaces on the internet to be forefront of mind as well. So you can purchase businesses that are fully passive, but you can also purchase businesses that are semi-passive. And when you purchase a semi-passive website business, you have the power to create your own team. You have the power to create your own processes and systems and have things done the way you wish you'd like them to be done. So just to preface here, when you buy an online business, it's not gonna be completely passive at the start, unless you buy a website that has a team, right? Already has like a general manager or a head VA that, you know, works around and operates all of the other moving parts of the business for you. Now, I've purchased a business where I was able to be fully passive before because I purchased it with a team. The person who was previously running the business, they had already sort of built the team and they were just sitting back in the wings and having a call with the people that were running the business every now and then. Now, when I purchased the business, I chose not to have that business be fully passive for me. I chose it to be semi-passive because I wanted to grow the business. I wanted to retain my ROI and get my investment back as soon as possible. So I started to do some of the work myself and I started to hire some more people and create my own SOPs. And this is what I suggest we do when we become business owners. Now, a lot of people have in their head this ideology and this vision and this dream of like, I wanna buy an investment that just makes me money and I do absolutely nothing. Can you do that? Sure, yes, you can do that. But you will be getting paid a less return on your investment, such as doing this in property where you can have property managers manage your property when you buy property investments. You can do this in the online space as well where you have other people purchase the business for you and they operate them for you too, but you're going to be getting lesser of return on your investment. 
and you won't have knowledge and experience in the space. My message to most people is that if you're dead set serious about wanting to build a big portfolio of website businesses and get the best bang for your buck and best ROI, is that it is good to buy a website business and have it be semi-passive. And you cut your teeth on some of the tasks that you need to do to run and grow that business. Now, this is important because then you start to learn how to build a team. You can start to learn how to create really good standard operating procedures, and you can understand how to grow a business with good business strategy. Which means once you understand that, when you go to buy another business, you can find a business that doesn't have those skills that you've learned and you can purchase that business and instill those skills into the business that you just purchased to grow it and scale it and retrieve a higher return on your investment. And once you build a team around you that can help you do this, then it becomes more passive. It becomes almost fully passive where you can have one call a week with a team where you end up doing some business strategy call that may even take an hour a week to just have a quick call or an hour a month. It depends on how you build the business and how you structure the business. Personally, I have a team where we, with a partner of mine, that we purchase businesses and we'll have one call every fortnight with the person who's the main operator of the business and we just talk about where we're at, what strategies we wanna move and proceed with and then they can go away and grow the business. Now, this is almost fully passive, right? It takes me, what, two hours a month. So what's that? It takes me about 24 hours a year to run the business, which is pretty cool. It's really, really cool. Now, this is what I call almost fully passive. But to get to that stage, I suggest you run through the ranks and buy website businesses that are semi-passive, cut your teeth on some of the skills that you need to learn, and then move into it becoming fully passive, which means you can get a higher return on your investment, you have more control over your investment, and so many other important factors when you are buying website businesses. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I think it's important for you to understand that when you get into this game, there is gonna be some work required. You do need to roll up your sleeves. And I've had people that come to me and say, Jar, I just wanna buy a business and I wanna do absolutely nothing. Now, you can do that, but like I mentioned before, you will be hiring an operator or you'll be having somebody else do that for you and you'll be retrieving a lesser return on your investment. Now, if you're serious about this, please do yourself a massive favor and learn how to grow these businesses, learn the strategies, because even if you did hire operations manager or general manager or an operator, some of the tactics and the strategies they use may not be the ones that are gonna be best for the business or actually gonna get you the results you really want. So you need to weigh up your options and understand that when you buy a business, especially under the $50,000 range, it's not gonna be a fully passive income website. Now, when you do buy these sites that are semi-passive, you do have options. You don't need to go away and build your own team right away. You can hire a team if you wish. And I have something really, really cool to share with you, right? Like when you buy a website, like a content site or a blog, are you gonna create all the content yourself or build a team? Or could you just go away and hire your own team, right? So some people, instead like to just build their own team, which is okay, that's fine. It's hard and I help people do that with one-on-one -on -one coaching because it can be hard to do it well. But why not hire a team, right, that can build the content for you, create the content for you and build the backlinks. Now, like I said, I have something really, really cool, which is a company that a few of my clients in the Bob community actually use, and they're called Niche Website Builders. So the website is nichewebsite.builders. And what they do is they create content from start to finish where they do the keyword research for your actual website all the way through to uploading a complete article for you. They also do backlink building, which can help you build your SEO profile, which can help you get more traffic, which more traffic actually equals more money, which is why you want them to do your content creation as well to generate more traffic with great keywords that are ranking well in the Google algorithm. So if you're interested in not building your own team right away, which you don't need to do, is get on board with Niche Website Builders. That's nichewebsite.builders, and they're a great option that a lot of my clients like to use. So there you go, guys. That's the difference between semi-passive and fully passive, and how you can go from semi-passive to fully passive, what it actually takes. But before you go away and buy a website, whether it's gonna be fully passive or semi-passive, there's one critical thing that you need to know and be really, really good at, and that is website due diligence. 
What I've created is a tool, a tool that's called my due diligence framework that I use and all of my clients use. It's been used on hundreds of businesses and so many businesses have been purchased using this tool, which takes all the guesswork out of doing website due diligence. It has a set list of questions that you need to be asking about the business to understand the business, become more conscious of the business, find out what red flags there are and whether you should proceed with that investment or not. So. Don't risk it, make sure you go away and get my due diligence framework. There'll be a link in the description. That's it from me guys on this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.